Sane rumours are heating up. Mbappe demands a contract clause. The Bruno Fernandes deal isn't quite over. A transfer roundup and this week's great debate all coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Fodick. Here with the One Footballers and this is the Daily News. First up, and according to Bild in Germany, the Leroy Sane deal from Manchester City to Bayern Munich is well and truly on. Now, I know we speak about it quite a lot, but it looks like things are moving in the right direction. After all this time, if he doesn't actually move, it'll be the biggest waste of breath ever. Anyway, apparently the player has already agreed a five-year contract with the Bundesliga champions, so all that's left to do is for Hassan Salahamazic and Oliver Kahn to go ahead and agree a deal with Manchester City. Earlier in the year, they were looking at 100 million, but now it looks like they may be going for a little bit less. Either that or Bayern are just being extremely stingy with their money at the moment. Apparently, they've started the bidding at around 40 to 50 million euros. I mean, if this was like FIFA, they'd probably just say, absolutely not, and walk out. Obviously, it's not. It's real life. Anyway, I think Manchester City will definitely not want that kind of money, but they might meet somewhere in the middle of the evaluation. Personally, I can see him going for around 70 to 80 million. Of course, he probably is worth more and still has many years ahead of him. But on the flip side, Manchester City are going to need a bit of money, especially if they're to come under the financial fair play ruling, of which they are currently under investigation for. And on top of this, when you've got a player who doesn't want to be there, who's already signed, apparently, or agreed a new contract with a different club, you might as well get him out sooner rather than later. What this does mean, though, is that Bayern Munich potentially aren't going to make too many other big signings in the transfer window. That puts Timo Werner out of the equation meaning that Liverpool could pretty much go full steam ahead and get his signature. And also Kai Havertz, although it looks like if he doesn't go to Bayern, not only will he stay at Leverkusen, he may just end up at Bayern next summer instead. And talking of potential moves in the future, next up, Kylian Mbappe. And apparently he's asked current club PSG for an almighty clause in his contract, which could see him leave for another club. So his current deal runs out in 2022. Obviously, PSG want to extend that. The closer we get to that date, the closer they could, I'm going to say it, make the worst transfer mistake in history by letting Kylian Mbappe go on a free transfer. Obviously, they don't want that to happen. So what he's done is he said he'll re-sign with the club, but only if there's a clause that if Real Madrid come knocking, there is a certain amount of money that PSG will have to accept. Now, there isn't an actual figure on these reports, but it's thought to be somewhere near the 222 million euros that PSG paid Barcelona a world record fee for Neymar. When you think about it, is Mbappe going to be worth more than Neymar? I'm going to go ahead and say he is. I mean, he's early 20s. He's got like a whole career to be an absolute legend of whichever club he moves to. Real Madrid aren't exactly enthralled about this because, well, they thought they could maybe, potentially, sooner rather than later, talk through a deal with Paris Saint-Germain, which wouldn't see them pay a world record fee. But on the flip side, if they do have this deal, they'll know exactly how much money they have to pay. There'll be no discussions that things can move along a little bit quicker. Whatever happens, it looks like Mbappe definitely doesn't have his heart set on a long future with PSG and that he'd rather be moving sooner rather than later. But moving on though, and to the Bruno Fernandes deal, when I said it wasn't over because there are still plenty of ramifications involving quite a lot of money for two of his former clubs. So on one hand, there's Sampdoria and the other hand, there's Sporting Lisbon. Sampdoria in Syria have reported Sporting Lisbon to FIFA over unpaid installments. This is because when they sold Bruno Fernandes to Sporting for seven and a half million back in 2016, they had a clause in the contract which said they'd get 10% of any future profit. Of course, they sold him on for quite a handsome fee in January, meaning that Sampdoria think they're owed around four and a half million euros. But according to Sporting, this is absolutely not true. The reason why? Well, if you remember last year, there was an incident at the Sporting training ground where a few angry fans got in and threatened a few of the players. Because of this, Loads of them immediately cancelled their contract with the club. One of them was Bruno Fernandes. However, a few days later, he did resign with the club and we know how the rest of the history goes. So, Sporting are claiming that within that period, because he technically terminated his own contract and then they signed him again as a free agent, the old contract, which has the clause that Sampdoria owe 10% of the profit, doesn't count. Surely this is ridiculous. Uh, is it just me? Like, wouldn't every club ever do that? As soon as you sign a player and you're like, ah, oh, no. There's a stupid clause, meaning we have to give money. I know, why don't we just say that he's terminated it, then sign him as a free agent to get rid of all clauses? Surely it's not that simple. I mean, I'm assuming there is probably some discrepancies on both sides, but I'm not so sure we'll be hearing the end of this. Anyway, 
Bruno Fernandes actually has nothing to do with him personally. He's at Manchester United doing his thing and hoping for the restart of the Premier League season. And talking of the start of the Premier League season, that is where we start the rest of our daily news roundup. Apparently, some of the Premier League chiefs think that even though we could be returning to football rather soon, there may be a bit of a difference in shorter halves. Not quite sure how this one's going to work. Maybe 30 to 35 minutes per half to reduce injury, apparently, or to reduce contact time. Who on earth knows what is going to happen? Anyway, with some transfer news and Dortmund are open to selling both Manuel Akanji and Nico Schultz this summer, despite the fact they actually only signed Schultz last summer. Roma are hoping to tie Nicolo Zaniolo down to a new contract to 2025. And lastly but not least, Manchester City are interested in River Plate's Lucas Martinez Quarta. Now, I've never actually seen the defender play in real life, so you guys let me know how good he is, because on Football Manager, he's unbelievable. It would be a great, great signing, should the game be anything to go by. So, lastly but not least, this week's Great Debate. This is where we pose a question for all of you guys to answer in the comment section. And the Great Debate this week is, with all the talks of not so much money flying around in the transfer market, who is the best free transfer of all time? There's so many to choose from throughout football history and you can go back as far as you like and pick a random one and let me know why in the comments section. For me, I'm going for Robert Lewandowski. He moved from Dortmund to Bayern and, you know, at the time, he was an unbelievable striker, so any club would have paid big money for him. But to get him on a free is an insane piece of business for Bayern. Since then, he's gone on to win absolutely everything in German football multiple times, score around 230 goals in all competitions for the Bundesliga club. And, well, if it wasn't for the fact they haven't quite managed to win a Champions League just yet, he may even go down as one of the greatest signings ever regardless of whether or not a fee was paid for him. So there you have it. That is all from me for today. Let me know your thoughts on the great debate and the rest of today's daily news in the comments section below. Whilst you're at it, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for loads more content that you can find by clicking here or here. That's all from me though. Until next time, have a great day, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later.